In this video, I have a small, beautiful piano melody. Uh, I'll play it for you right away. Uh, by the way, I have a little announcement to make. In the description below, you will find my ultimate guide for beginners on how to play the piano in this video. This is in fact only a blog post, but it is a massive blog post with a substantial amount of content. One could say actually a small book. For beginners, what you can find on my blog. Clavier-learning.de is my blog, but I'll provide the exact link in the video description. So it is quite extensive. It is not completely finished yet. I am still working on it. A few graphics will be included and I still have to proofread the entire thing. There are still a few errors, but please take a look there. All right, here is my lovely little melody for you now at this very moment in time. Easy, and of course, I'll give you tips on how to embellish it more in the Einaudi style. This is the melody itself. Of course, you can embellish it a little bit. Really very minimalist in the right hand and actually also in the simple version in the left hand. So let's get started. The right hand. Look, the thumb is lying here on the A. The hand remains in the same position with the remaining fingers on the adjacent keys. Then we play the thumb first. Once the A. Then we only play the middle finger on the C. These are all of the tones that we need at this moment. The actual melody is that we start with the C note. In addition to that, there is also a significant emphasis placed on it in this context. Are you able to observe? The C is a little bit louder. One and two and three and four. And this particular aspect needs to be emphasized a bit more. However, I play the A chord with my thumb positioned in front. This is my initial approach. I execute the A and then I commence counting. One and two and three and four. And if I persist in playing, I will no longer execute the A beforehand. Namely one and two and three and four. And at this point, the A reappears once more. I do not need to type that again. Therefore, caution. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. The challenge here is that it does not look like it. It looks so simple, it is just two tones. But the challenge here is that it is played really evenly and requires precise execution to achieve the desired outcome and maintain consistency throughout. I'm exaggerating a bit right now, but still the consistency is not that easy. Therefore, simply take a moment to relax and then consciously pay attention to making it really nice and even. This is a tiny yet remarkable piece of art. All right, that is actually the identical thing that the right hand plays, but I have it once more at the conclusion of the piece. And that is on the fourth occasion it happened. This is actually the little finger, the ring finger, the middle finger, the index finger, the E, the D, the C, the H, but always alternating with the A using the thumb. In addition, there is the little finger and thumb. Moreover, there is the ring finger and thumb, middle finger and thumb, index finger and thumb. These are the fingers involved in the gesture. For accuracy, repeat the sequence of 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 at least 10 times. This ensures consistency and confirms data reliability. Following this process guarantees accurate results, evenly as feasible. And that's our right hand. Be careful, I'll play it through once. Please only focus on the right hand. I participate in the A, the AND 
Currently, C and A are arriving before anything else. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And now the third time. Now the third time. Now the third time. One and two and three and four. And now arrives the fourth instance. Now arrives the E. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Passages three, four and two. These are the passages that contain important information. Three and four and three. Passage three and four and four. Passage Echo Delta Charlie Hotel, East Delta Charlie Hotel. That's the right hand. Now we are moving towards the left hand side. I am playing it to the end once again, just like before. The left hand is in charge of playing the F note using the middle finger, the G note using the index finger, and the A note using the thumb. These particular fingerings enable precise execution of the musical piece. By assigning each note to a different finger, the pianist can attain optimal control and accuracy in their performance. The F is performed during the initial round, therefore the AND is also played in that round. Now always with the C, one here together and two and three and four and attention, now the G with the index finger, now always with the C, one here together and two and three and four and attention, now the G with the index finger, right, play the note C with the middle finger. Count one and two and three and four and now use the left thumb to play the next note. One and two and three and four and thumb remains in the downward position. The finger on the left hand positioned between the middle finger and the index finger. The finger on the left hand adjacent to the thumb. The thumb on the left hand and the thumb continues to remain lying without any movement or change in its position. Once more, I am already engaged in playing it at a faster pace than before, demonstrating my improved skills and agility. And a very important thing now, namely if you now say, oh great, no problem, I can... Now arrives the most crucial aspect, and that is not simple. We bring a small amount of dynamism. Look, I commence very emotional, very gradually and lightly and very quietly and become louder and quieter once more, gradually building up the intensity and then gradually fading away again. It is always about increasing the volume and then gradually decreasing it again. I'm also slowing down a bit. Now the next thing, now comes the next curve. Very important in music in general. Bringing in dynamics, emotion, that's definitely something Anali does very, very often. His melodies are also minimalist, like this one. But he brings even more. Okay, that was the simple vision. If you say, I would like a little more. Look! I'll be brief, sticking to the topic. Theoretically, you can always make more. The notes in my left hand, F, G, and A, are fundamental tones of chords. The F is the tonic of the F major chord. The G is the tonic of the G major chord. The A is the tonic of the A minor chord. For example, the F major chord has the notes F, A, and C, and the notes repeat everywhere. F, A, C, F, A, C, F, A, C. All of this is the F major chord, and I can play it in any order. And for example, I play the F here, F, C, F. The G is such an additional tone that you can take. A and C, here is the chord once again presented for your reference and understanding. This is the part played by the left hand. It starts with F, C, F, G, A, C and continues with the same notes from G, which is the G major chord. G, D, G, A, H, D. And that is the same as what we have from the A minor chord in terms of the notes being played. This is the chord. A, E, A, H, C, E. Then it sounds like this in the left hand. If 
if I now replay our melodies of the right hand once more, Is this the enhanced upgraded version? And attention, now one more thing, one last thing. Before I play C, I play H as a suggestion. Yes, truly just extremely, extremely, extremely close. My primary focus is on the C, but the index finger briefly bounces on the H, and then I have one instance of it that I need to handle. This is the melody we have created together. In theory, naturally, you have the ability to consistently create additional value for it. But that is the topic of another video. I hope you enjoyed it. It is nice to have you here. Look, I'm already inserting another video here for you if you feel like continuing. I'm always happy to have you visit my website, wordamusica.de or as I said, the blog article, The Starter Guide for Beginners, which I link to you in the video description. So I would be very happy. Nice to have you here. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.